Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Stock Apples Jack here, bringing you a brand new video. And today, we're going to be discussing a couple of different stocks. This is a little bit different than my previous videos because we're going to be discussing three stocks today. So stick around. But first, we're going to be discussing ATXI. Now, we're going to briefly go through all the catalysts here. But as you can see, boy, oh boy, ATXI up today over 100%. And currently, as you can see there, at the screenshot was 59 cents now currently at 57 cents still incredible guys and of course this is after the announcement of the reverse split that is happening tomorrow so let's get right into that but as you can see as of the 21st september sitting at a 4.7 million dollar cap i'm sure that has risen some today but again as you can see to confirm to confirm the shares float is at 10.2 which is why we are getting the float to be roughly 680,000 and not as you can see on the next page here the 1.5 million that's outstanding shares this guys is already up insane amount and of course i hope you all you know know when to take profits and whatnot but we could see another substantial run but as you can see just to go over what they announced today they also announced a regulatory update for the iv trauma doll that included the receipt of the type a meeting minutes from the fda but as you can see atxi have announced it will affect a 115 reverse split of its common stock which will be effective trading purposes on the nasdaq capital market as of tomorrow the 23rd and as you can see as we just discussed the outstanding shares of common stock will be reduced from the 22.7 million to approximately 1.5 million and of course the share float will go down to roughly just 680k now as you can see, the reverse stock split is primarily intended to bring the company into compliance with NASDAQ's $1 per share minimum bid. The company is simultaneously affecting a reduction in the number of authorized shares of common stock as well, from $50 million to $20 million, which is something that's not getting discussed a lot. But here we can see the FDA, as you can see, with the IV tra tramadol. And as you can see, ATXI received official meetings minutes from the FDA regarding a meeting conducted on August 9, 2020 for the product. At the meeting, Avenue presented a study designed for a single safety clinical trial that the company believes could address the concerns risk regarding risks related to opioid stacking. And the big thing here, the company tends to incorporate the FDA suggestions from the meeting minutes and submit a detailed study protocol that could form the basis for the submission of a complete response for the second complete response letter for IV tramadol which again this could rocket because of that as well they released this news and the one for 15 reverse split on the same day just huge guys and again just no one to get out of place this is already up a substantial amount but tomorrow could be huge as well the next thing we're going to get into the next one nugn yes if you've been on this page guys on stock apples check and if not if you're not already subscribed if you are subscribed you would have saw this nugn was down 30% roughly today. Now, the reason we are discussing this is because there was more news released today and it was evolving the valuation of Eurodot. And as you can see at the beginning of the new year, be valued at around 70 million USD. And as you know, they have a 15% stake in this valuation, which gives them around 10.5 million USD, which is you know, a substantial amount for an OTC stock with more future mergers and acquisitions being added in the following months. Now, some people did not like this news as this was supposedly already given information. While the exact amounts wasn't given, again, they're doing future valuations. Now, that's the reason I can see why. I guess people expected more news. But again, as you can see, Eurodot is a holding company. If you didn't know this already, that'll be listed on one of the major world stock exchanges to reverse merger. And of course, it's tailored business solutions and environmentally friendly practices focusing on green environmental transformation within the logistics company and new technologies and they'll they're going to reverse merger with a company of a european stock exchange and a tech company and they both have initial targets delivering a combined value of 25 million and other companies will be acquired or merged with euro that within the six to 12 months from the initial reverse merger and when it's complete and levental group will have an acquisition fee paid for in shares increasing its position in the final holding from the initial 15 percent the merger process now in the final stage of the uh, target audits and starts effectively during october and the names of the companies will be announced at that time which is big and as you can see today they also announced they're very transparent at giving information which is great the sec informed levento on september 13th that the form 10 will be reviewed within approximately 14 days they're looking forward to next week as they have an interview plan on september 30th that will help to inform our loyal 
value shareholders moving forward. So, of course, this is big. The Form 10, they're going to review it within 14 days. Seems to be a whole lot of a lot of stuff within the SEC. But again, that 10 cent mark could be a good position to get yourselves in if you know you think, but none of these value yourself financial advice. You have to do your own due diligence. And the next pop off stock we're going to be discussing KPRX. And as you can see, time of making this video, they are sitting at roughly 22 and a half cents, so up a little more than you can see here. Currently at a roughly a $6.2 million cap again. I'm sure that's a little bit higher as the run up today. But again, so what's the deal with this? Why is there a run up? And basically, this one is similar to ATXI. In there's going to be a shareholder meeting tomorrow at 10 a.m. to discuss a reverse stock split. Now, as you can see, it will include the company's common stock at a ratio of not less than one for two and not greater than one for 40, with the exact ratio of effective time of and decision to implement the reverse stock split to be determined by the board of directors, if it is, of course, approved, which seems certain it will but again one to two one to four day which is insane amount the thing with this though and you may say how is this different than atxi atxi is already confirmed merger the vote is already done it is happening and of course this vote does not mean the merger is confirmed yet rising in price just because of this and it could it could dump tomorrow who knows but again like all these stock we, stocks we discussed, you have to do your own due diligence, know when to get in and out. And of course, as I always say, be sure to take profits. So it's a little bit different video today. We went over three of the exciting stocks you could say today. And of course, NUGN having a, a rough day. But again, a stock to get a possible good position and if you would like to. And guys, I realized that 90% of the viewers on this page are not subscribed to me. So if you would not mind, click that subscribe button, guys. I try to make frequent videos and stocks that are popping and, you know, bring you the best, the best diligence I can. So, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe for more content, and, of course, have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching.